um in the in the like the 80s if you like um most people were working in offices and they had a computer with that was centrally uh controlled you know so uh and most people were doing like office work you know they were they, they didn't have much discretion about what they did or or how they did it so um you know so that you know they might be they might be doing running a payroll or they might be you know doing some accounting or whatever they were doing on the computer but uh, once the internet was on in the late 90s things changed massively you know so where um where we where people were part of an organization you now without much discretion about what they did on the computer we now move to a situation where people have discretion they have choices they can use it or not use it they're not just in the office they're in the home they're at leisure um and and the computer affords new opportunities at home and, and in at leisure looking at the individual as a as a consumer so now you're bringing in kind of consumer behavior um you're bringing in marketing and so the so the whole interest in in human computer computer interaction broadens or broadens you know so you're interested in the the user experience the user's journey um but at the same time uh, so, you know, that's from a, a kind of human computer interaction, if you like, in investigation, understanding the interaction. But at the same time, what's changing is what people can do with the computer, you know, and how their perception of things changed. You know, at, at first, um, you know, we had a project with um, uh, just a little project with Manchester Evening News, which was called internet usability and the idea so this was like you know maybe it was 1990 but it was just sort of on the beginning there of, of, of people talking about getting on to the internet you know and the time when you began to saw people advertising that they had a website you know even though it was a very basic one anyway what we did with the um manchester Union news was um it, well, one of the members of staff there, he he had said that people were very sceptical about the internet, and they they thought you know the the newspaper couldn't be changed. So at, you know at that time and and still today, a computer is um, a newspaper is defined by its layout. You know what goes on on what page, how big the columns are, what the heading looks like, etc. And um, so their staff were like, well, we can't, um, we can't, how do we get all that on a big screen, in, on a small screen? You know, how do we do that? And, uh, you know, we can't change. We've got to keep it as it is. So what, what we did with them is to run some experiments where we had the, um, um, the traditional design of of the newspaper on the screen and that you could kind of move it around or we had something that was designed to take into account that you had links and and you know hyperlinks and um uh you know you could move around you could have menus you could have auctions you know all the things that you could do and uh, and then and then we ran some experiments got recruited lots of users to um you know to say well which one do you like best you know <laughs> and, uh, uh, and and in the end what, what what the outcome was was that um when you look at the statistics of who accessed the you know the experimental online system was um the, the manchester evening news was now being accessed by hundreds of people all over the world, you know. So, so then as soon as the skeptics saw that and they could see, oh my goodness, you know, 
it's not just Manchester, you know, it's China, it's Malaysia, it's, it's everywhere. We, you know, we have all these people who are interested in Manchester. And, you know, and in that way, that business changed, you know, that, that spark changed the way they thought about their own business and their opportunity. So the technology is changing, you know, the interaction between the, the readers of the newspaper and the, uh, the actual, you know, newspaper business itself. Um, so, so, I mean, that was, that's been a time, uh, that was a time, you know, the early 2000s was just a time of massive, massive um, uh, change, both in, in the way people interacted with computers and the opportunities that computers could give them.